Okay, today we're going to go on a little Blu-ray hunt um, over to the CEX in Gosport, which is on the other side of Portsmouth. Um, but we have to get this little ferry there, so let's go. Here we are at the Gosport Ferry. Now this is Portsmouth side and we have got to go over there. It's only a short trip, um, but to get there by foot or by car, you've literally got to go all the way around, all the way over there in the horizon that you can see, and make your way back to here. So it's far quicker and easier going this way. There's a spinnaker. There's one of the aircraft carriers. Just there. Above my finger. So we're coming out of the ferry terminal here and literally the CEX is about 100 metres further on on the left hand side. From these shores, invasion armies of the Allied forces departed for the liberation of Europe during the 6th, 1940. About time that came down. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm just tripping over. CEX is literally just uh, signs there just between them two canopy things. Poundland, right here. Okay, here's the CEX. Take a look inside. And inside Gosport CEX we are where they have over 900 um, titles apparently. So first of all the 4K section. Um, yeah, Star Wars there. Cover reprinted on Top Gun Maverick. £10 for the 4K though. 
Um, that's gone down quite a bit. It's a good price. Ice Age 5. Um, I didn't even know there was a 5. That's £4. Everest there. Forrest Gump on 4K. John Wick 2 in there. Matrix. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I think I saw. Um, Dunkirk. The Martian. Venom down the bottom. I can never really see what's down the bottom until I check back on my phone. A lot of Skyfalls there. And a, lot of, a lot of Spectres. A lot of um, James Bond titles in here. In that sense. Uh, do you know what I mean? They, they've got a lot of doubles of stuff. Triples and quadruples. Was that one pound for twenty-four? That was a good price. If it was, sixty-five Blu-ray, twelve pound now. Not long come out. A lot of the same titles. Look, how many Spider-Mans do they need? How do they get this many in? There we go. Um, adulthood, Apollo thirteen, airplane, five quid. Armageddon, four pound. Great film. Should get four K. Afro. Samuel Jackson, is that voice? Is that I just see his name on it? I don't know what that is. Absolutely anything there. I've got that and, and I, I hate it. I don't know why. I look at it and think, why? Why have you got that? It's rubbish. Bad boys there. The boys. Two seasons of the boys there. £8 a piece. If you haven't seen that, I um, highly recommend it. Well worth a watch. And eight pound, that's a great price. And there's my knee. There was a point in a minute where a woman in there came up and asked if I, she could help me. And without looking at her, I said, you're talking to me? She said, yeah. I said, no, no, that's fine, I'm good. Just perusing what's on the shelves. She walked away, and this was while I was filming. Um, the Beatles. Pumpkin Empire. Fantastic series. What's this? Clerks. Um, the first film. Five pound. Good film. Catwoman. Hunted. The DC animated movie. I think I've got that as a still book. I'm sure mine's a still book of that. Um, Cobra Kai. Seasons one and two. Deadpool there. A lot of Deadpools look. And a lot of Planet of the Apes. A lot of Doctor Strange's. Multiverse of Madness there. I think that's £6 for the Blu-ray now. Dirty Dancing edition, I've got that. I picked it up, just because it was cheap and different. Doomsday. We're starring Rona Mitra. Former Tomb Raider model. Dexter Season 2. Electra, four pounds for the Daredevil spin off movie starring Jennifer Garner. I should watch that film again sometime. It was up as one of my defending duds, but it didn't win. Um, so, yes, Eden Lake there that was sort of recommended to me on the back of some other films that I watched. Now we jump up here, Frozen there, Fan Four Stick. Fast and Furious, a fair few, fair few FFs, FFFF, -F -F -F. a few Godfathers as well, two different versions of Fifth Element, a lot of Guardians, see they do have a lot of doubles and repeats of stuff in here, Ghost Rider 2, looking forward to that when it was coming out and then went to see it and it was rubbish, Halloween Kills and Halloween Nens there. The animated Halo thing. I've not seen it. I don't know what that is. Some Highlander down the bottom. I think it was around then when the... No, was it when one was talking to me? Possibly, I don't know. Iron Man's... Well, I'm only at the eyes. The eyes have it, as they say. Jungle Book, Justice Leagues. The problem is now going into CEX is... is You've got it all. Although I always find something to pick up. Like this here. Julia X. 
3D, Kevin Sorbo, Hercules, Legendary Journeys, Jack Ryan, final season's coming on very soon, I'll be there for that, John Krasinski as Jack Ryan, fantastic, Limitless, I don't know what that is, but I pulled it out and took a look, Man of Steel, now we're up in the Megans with no slip covers. Remember when that came out? Everyone wanted slip covers. Got no slip. The Mist, fantastic film. Thomas Jane, The Punisher. The best Punisher. Memento. Nice. Mad Max, Misfits. Uh, yeah. So we're down to the P's now. It's very much just going through the motions these days, going into a CEX and, you know, very rare do you get wowed by anything. And like I said, this store's got a load of titles, over 900, but is that because of the repetitive nature of the titles they have, if that makes sense? When do they count them as, I think they must do. Double pack of red there. Star Wars. The sequel trilogy. What a waste of time that trilogy was, truly. You know, I, I don't ever go back and watch them. Never. Stargate Atlantis. Skywalker Saga. £30 box set. Seagal set. Then we're moving down here. Spartacus there, which is a great series. Thor Ragnarok at the bottom. I mean, these must be shipped in from elsewhere. Look how, look how many toy stories they had down there. Ted, Train Spotting, Truth or Dare. Taxi Driver, Taken 2 times 4. Tekken. Live action Tekken, I think. Terminator 2 is down there. There's four of them. Um, the triangle with a lenticular. I do actually have that with the lenticular. Um, usual suspects. Uncle Buck, eight pound. I always hold its value. It's Planet of the Apes, War of the Planet of the Apes there. And we're down to the W's. And yeah, that's about it for the Blu rays. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, three items in that CEX. Obviously, we'll take a look at them when we get back. Um, one being a blue DVD TV series, two Blu rays, one DVD. Um, how much did I spend? Because I used voucher. Um, but I got some money back on my voucher anyway. But um, yeah, it's good. This. These gardens were renamed the Falkland Gardens in tribute to the members of the armed forces, merchant navy and civilians who gave their lives or were injured in the Falkland Islands campaign April to June 1982. These gardens. Here we have
Show you what's this. So I'm back from that trip to Gospel CEX um, and, and three items I picked up in there. Um, should we take a look? It was a uh, um, lovely weather. I've got a bit burnt, should we say. I fell asleep on the beach, um, on the lounger, and yeah, hadn't applied any suntan lotion at that point. But there we go. It happens. So what did I pick up? Okay, first of all, DVD. And it is the complete season 17 of Family Guy for four pounds. Um, I think the only season that I needed to complete what they released until they stopped releasing them. It's obviously a um, three disc set, 20 episodes. Um, yeah, so fantastic. That's the first one. Um, second, I picked up a film that people were talking about when I watched the um, I Spit On Your Grave movies, and that is Eden Lake for £4. I've not seen this. Um, the best nasty British horror film in years. Nasty, scary and tight as a drum whatever that means but there we go so Eden Lake I'll give that one a go review to come no doubt um oh Michael Fassbender's in it all right I didn't know that but there we go and then last but not least they had this in there and I thought I couldn't not pick it up because it's a great film don't have it in the collection and it is the first Clerks film for five pound I do have Clerks three on blu-ray no Clerks two um because it didn't get a Oh, it hasn't got a Blu-ray release in this country. So, yeah, so those were the free pickups from that there CEX. Um, yeah, not bad. Quite happy with that. And I did have a look in some charity shops as well. Um, I did have a look in some charity shops as well, but alas, there was nothing in there to pick up. Although yesterday, if you didn't see my video, I did pick up some still books in a charity shop. So... Um, go back and check my video from yesterday to see what I picked up if you missed out on that. And that's me done. Thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.